Hello everyone, this is the most intelligent and magnificent bird, Buckbeak, speaking to you today. And in today's video, I'm just simply going to be doing some raids. And before we begin, I hope all of you are doing good and staying safe out there. I'm doing alright, and I'm staying safe for the most part, and I would have been on this a couple of hours ago, but I was busy, well, quote-unquote busy, by me uh, continuing my, my journey toward the platinum on the quarry, and my last playthrough that I just finished, it isn't my very last playthrough, but the latest one I just finished tonight, I knocked out, I was able to knock out four trophies in one playthrough, which is a uh, really good progress for me, because I only have two more trophies left to get on that game before I get the platinum. So let's see, I was able to get should have gone to the motel which is to uh, you have to reunite Laura and Max it's not as easy as it sounds and then nobody's fool I had to have Jacob tell Emma the truth and then decked out I had to find all of the tarot cards so that I got that out, out I got that out of the way Plus, the fourth one was for finding all the evidence collectibles. That one was unexpected, but I don't think we should waste any more time. I think we should go ahead and jump into raiding with me, Buckbeak, shall we? And you guys might hear some rain in the background. I mean, I'm right next to my window. So, I can definitely hear it, but I'm not sure if you can, but yeah. In my area, there are certain areas that's calling for freezing rain. Certain areas that are calling just for rain. Luckily, I'm in an area where there isn't going to be any freezing rain, or not much of it. So, I am grateful for that. And I'm also grateful that um, I was able to knock out four trophies in one playthrough I was aiming for three trophies in one playthrough but the fourth one just I you know that one was unexpected so yeah I have to run a playthrough of finding all of the clue collectibles and and in the same playthrough I also have to keep everyone alive as far as the main playable characters other certain characters that honestly doesn't matter as long as I keep all the main playable characters alive which I have not done and you know I will say the absolute hardest trophy to go for in the quarry is peanut butter butter pops and uh, what that is, is you have to never miss in a combat encounter. That involves like when you uh, are shooting things with a shotgun in the game. And if you do miss during a combat encounter, you have to start the whole game over. And that trophy sucks because I had to redo... <laughs> I had to redo that, what, five different times just for that one trophy. I can definitely say the Peanut Butter Butter Pops trophy is definitely the hardest trophy to go for in the quarry. All the rest of them are pretty simple, but just time consuming. And there's definitely specific requirements for the Peanut Butter Butter Pops um, trophy. I definitely had to follow a guide for that because sometimes 
you know this this guide will tell you when and when to not when to shoot at something and when not to shoot at something for it to count so if anybody is ever gonna let's just say if anybody is playing the query and they just want to platinum it just just because if you're going for the peanut butter butter pops trophy definitely look up a guide <laughs> that doesn't mean it'll be easy that you'll be able to do it in one try but definitely look up a guide it will save you time I had to replay five different playthroughs just to get that one trophy because I kept missing in a combat encounter about halfway through the game and there's only ten chapters so I started messing up uh, chapter five a lot until I finally got it I'm so glad I don't have to go for that trophy no more so yeah and then uh, the one trophy should have gone to the motel uh, you would think that Laura and Max being reunited would be pretty easy but no I mean it is pretty easy but there's specific requirements that you have to do that you don't think you would ha would have had to do but you have to do them in order to get those two to reunite in chapter 10 I'm not gonna say what those requirements are but yeah I had to look up what to do exactly on how to get that trophy and then uh, nobody's full that trophy again you would think it would be pretty simple just to have um, you know Jacob tell Emma the truth and um, well I just looked up how to do that and again there are specific requirements in order for Jacob and Emma to meet up in chapter 10 in order in order to get that trophy and then finding all of the tarot cards um, there were some in some locations I honestly I didn't think they would be in but some of them maybe more than half of them I already knew where they were because I found them over and over again in multiple playthroughs but some of them I was like oh that was there and somehow I missed it the last like billion times I played this game so yeah and the evidence one you know trying to find all the evidence I just found that by I found all the evidence by lucky chance there's only 10 pieces of evidence but what's weird in one single playthrough you cannot um, you cannot find all the tarot cards all the evidence and all the clues for I don't know that's just the way they designed it you, so what you can do is you can find all the cards and evidence or all the evidence and clues in a single playthrough so I was able to find all the cards and evidence in one playthrough which I got pretty lucky doing that and in case you haven't noticed I'm sure you've already noticed I have built another telltale team except for Lily this one has Molly in it and we'll see how this one goes we'll see yo so it's been pretty fun uh, going for the platinum on the query except for the peanut butter butter pops trophy that one was definitely the most frustrating trophy out of all of the trophies that game has to offer and you know some of y'all might be wondering what peanut butter butter pops are and it's pretty simple as um, the peanut butter butter pops is just a fictional uh, popcorn snack in that game that's what that is yeah it's kind of like um, 
what's a sweet popcorn, um, you know what, I don't know, but it's just a fictional bag of, uh, popcorn, and I'm guessing it's gonna be peanut butter flavored popcorn by the name of it, so that's what that is. When I was uh, going around now just describing those trophies, I tried to be, you know, not, I was trying to work, dance around, not giving away any of the spoiler, you know, story spoiler stuff without going into great detail. I don't know how well this team is going to do, honestly. Yeah. I might just hit the auto and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know why I thought that was a good idea, honestly. Let's see how well this goes. This one should be a lot more doable than the last one for sure. I mean... You know, I tried out Molly and I leveled her up a little bit. And um, I even have this weapon for her. Let me show you. Um, this weapon right here, the diamond knife. And I mean, it isn't terrible, but I honestly do prefer the first Telltale team with Clem, Duck, Lily, Lee, and Kenny. I do prefer this one more so over this one, but I have been switching between the both of, between both teams just to, you know, they're pretty similar but they're different at the same time. And I just realized, you know what? I know Lee isn't a big damage dealer, but he does um you know, he is able to recover from the burn, you know? And without that, I faced a team with Ty, and I was like, wait a minute, why are my characters all of a sudden being burnt? And I realized it was because I didn't have Lee in the team. So, no matter what team I'm going to be using, I'm always going to have Lee in it. And that's just something that I forgot about or just didn't take into account when going up against the Zachary or a Thai team or whatever, you know? So let's switch back to... This is the Telltale team that I prefer here. But both of them are pretty... are good. I won't say that neither one of them is bad, but I just prefer this one over the one with Molly. Although, the benefit with the team with Molly is she does give out Guardian Shields, so you definitely have benefits to both teams, for sure. But I just personally like this one the best, but the other one is not all that bad either. It's actually kind of good as well. And we'll just do this last refill here. I just love that waste knot that Lily delivers. So, that's, uh, I think it's very good. I mean, I like Lily as far as in the game of RTS. I like Lily better than Molly. But if we're talking character overall, no, I like Molly much more than Lily, but if we're talking characters in RTS and as far as what they do, I like Lily over Molly, but, you know, other than, you know, outside of RTS, I like L Molly much more. But if we're talking RTS, I'll prefer Lily over Molly. Just because I love the damage that Lily does. Yeah. 
there we go that's what I'm talking about right there but it is nice that Molly has that diamond knife with the impair on it that is pretty nice I'm not gonna lie it's definitely very nice for sure Ooh, I don't know. This might be an L. Well, no, maybe not. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I hate all those Guardian Shields, man. They, they are definitely not earned. But that is part of... Isn't that part of uh, Marge's weapon? I think so. Man, you gotta be kidding me. You didn't take out a single person. It's because of that damn Zachary, that's why, and he's got that absolute defense. We're good. We should have it. Oh, yeah. We got it. And before we end things, there's a certain character I want to uh, look at real quick. Oh, we get, well, we got one more. We do have one more. Oh, yeah. We need to take care of ghosts. Like right now because I'm pretty sure Kenny will just mop them up for sure well unless he's bringing fools back yeah that's exactly what's happening <laughs> okay but you know who my number one preferred guardian shield tune is Michonne 2000, baby. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. See, that's why we needed to take care of Ghost. And, I mean, we did. I did do that. But the problem is, Vance. Vance happened. Okay, there we go. Now, before, uh, before we end things... I believe Winter Harrison came out. Um, let's see. Or did he? You know what? Never mind. He might. He might be coming out soon. But as of right now, he's not in the game. Oh well. I'll probably just watch Locke's video to look at his kit and all of that. And yeah. That's going to do it for this one. I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by and for your continued support. Or, if you're new, welcome in for the first time. All of you are very awesome and I thank you again. And don't forget to hit the bell and switch on all notifications so you know the second I upload to YouTube. I am Buck Beak, and I'm going to go fly away back to my nest. Until next time, bye guys.